things called switching surge stoppers. You know, uh, how do these things differ from standard surge stoppers? And, you know, why are we using these things? Yeah, so a standard surge stopper has a MOS set on the high side. It would act like a resistor. And when there is a surge, it would uh, adjust a certain resistance, which means the surge, the high voltage, would be lowered to a low voltage on the output side, which means it's acting like a resistor, like an adjustable resistor, which is great for a while, but when it gets too warm over time, it just won't work anymore. So that's where a switching surge stopper comes in because the switching surge stopper sort of acts like a step-down regulator. It, it pulses, and by that, it can, can convert the power from a high surge into the output voltage that's needed and necessary, and the output voltage won't change much. But that sort of sounds like a buck regulator. <laughs> that is true. Theoretically, you could use any buck regulator. However, most buck regulators has a, have a high side end channel MOSFET. And so that means typically they cannot keep that high side switch on permanently for the whole time. Now with the switching surge stopper, only during searches, you want to do switching, but when there's no search on the input, you just want to pass through the input voltage to the output voltage. And that means you need a high side switching element that, that can uh, stay turned on permanently. And switching search stopper parts are pretty much bug regulators that have some more cleverness to them that make sure um, the high side switch can, can be continuously turned on. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, they can check out the article to see the details. Thanks a lot.